Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to, to the final episode of Love Live Superstar. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Mm Well, you know what? We're very close. We're not even that. We're in the finals of this, and it's the final episode. You just gotta go like up into it, no matter what. Right? <laughs> Which is good. <laughs> it could have been every everything. Or anything, that's the thing. Mm-hmm. Good to con on, of course.
You know, I honestly thought you guys were going to do the stadium of where the opening is for this show. Or something big like it. Exactly. We need something big and grand and beautiful. What's wrong? Mm-hmm. That too. I think she's got it.
So at least let them help. Hey, but it wakes you up, though. <laughs> no, come on. on. That is me, straight up. <laughs> oh. Hey, what little work to it, you know? Oh, of course. Yeah, but they said they'll take care of it, so don't worry about it. They didn't do anything?
it's pretty. so pretty so pretty oh my god I can't it's too much but still hmm. you still did good though you still did good a good performance literally one of their best mm. and I'm guessing because of this you know cuckoos 
parents are definitely going to find out about this. Oh, baby. Oh, best girl, honey. Honestly, this was a really good finale, in my opinion. I mean, yes, it did the generic of what Love Live normally does for season one. And so season two, of course, I know it's going to be a lot better than season one. I honestly cannot wait until season two comes for this show because, I mean, it ended off a really good note, in my opinion. Got so much freaking dog hair around me from calling my dog. <laughs> But it was still good. I really, really enjoyed this one. I mean, as someone who, when I got into this series several years ago, and I did a reaction on Sunshine Season 1, and I compared one group to the other, and then, like, after the series was done, I kind of stopped. Because they're all different, unique groups, and I love them all no matter what, regardless and such. Now, if we're comparing them all against each other, like, mm, that's where it's like, mm, yeah, who do you want, like, by the end of it? But it was a good finale. Yeah, I'm sad that they didn't win, of course. But still, it was one of their best performances. And I honestly, excuse me, cannot wait to see what these girls are going to get into when season two does come. Excuse me, oh my god. In the next few years. <laughs> It would have been weird if we just did one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely miss this show. Even with all the delays that this had, because, you know, at the time the Olympics was airing during this show, the fact that this is finally done, it, it's... I'm happy, but then at the same time, I'm sad because officially, like, okay, it's 10.24 p.m. for me on October 17th, but by the time this will come out tomorrow, it'll officially be my birthday. And I'm happy that this ended on my birthday, truly, even though I'm watching it on the 17th. But still, it, it's sweet. Very, very sweet. And I will miss these girls a lot. Like I said in the beginning, like, I really enjoyed the fact that we got to have a group, a really small group of five because of the fact is it gave you a lot more time to really um to get to know these girls very very quickly and kind of get attached to them for me like comparing <laughs> Nijikisaki, Aquas, and Muse like all together and taking like it took me okay for so for best girl knows me and I think it took me like two episodes 
to basically be like, yeah, she's best girl for me. But to get episodes where it's like, okay, let's do like a backstory on her. It took a while. That's the same thing for almost like any other girls in the group because it's almost like comparing this to the Pretty Cure series where it's like, here's an episode mainly, let's say, the biggest fo focus is Kanan and Kanan only. But at the same time, they're like, okay, even though Kanan's the main focus, everybody else is going to get that equally. Sometimes it is a little harder when it is nine girls in a group to give everybody their focus. But cutting it down from nine to five really made it a lot more like focusing on everybody each and every single week if someone still got a main focus everybody else still got a focus as well you had a little more time to get to know these girls than um typically with the other three shows and then when season two eventually comes you get to know them even more because still with the way this show ends it still feels like there is a lot of unanswered questions for these five and wondering you know in their own separate stories what in the world is going to happen for them because especially for Kukuru. And her situation, I mean, since they didn't win, like I said, when are her parents are going to be informed about this? Is she going to make a call? Because that's what I was assuming, like, this final episode was going to be about. Her making a call and then, you know, either Samire, Chi, Ren, or even Best Girl Kanan herself would have overheard the conversation. And then by the end of this season, she would have been going home. They could have even left it on that if they really wanted to. They could have did a freaking Aikatsu season one ending. And I probably would have been here crying for a couple of minutes over that. But we would have known that going into season two that the four would have... Blah, 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 I can't speak. The four <laughs> would have traveled to Kuguru's home and to kind of like demand her to come back. But who knows that may happen for like season two heck if this show gets like maybe a season three but really it's just gonna go two seasons in a, in a movie route because that is traditional for the love live series in the end but hopefully i mean because like i really do want to see more for these five like even after the show gets the second season it's kind of the same thing even with nijikasaki school idol club um because those girls like just they're still new and you just love them so much. And because of the fact is like, we're kind of, you know, ending like a chapter of, we've already kind of really ended the chapter of Muse. They came back one time very recently. They're still like, they're done. And I think Aquas is getting very close to that. So now looking at the Nishikasaki girls and the Lelia girls, they, it's their time to shine. It's their time to get all the demand and the tension that you know our previous two groups got and so hopefully i think at the same time is that even though these two are still going to go off on their own and shining in their um respective shows that we still don't forget about the ones who paid the way for them but yeah this is a really good finale and once again i am sad that this is truly over but happy that i was able to watch this series but other than that guys that was my reaction view towards the entire first season of love live superstar if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the national squad and of course i will see you guys officially you know whenever <laughs> <laughs> this show gets a second season or whatever the hell <laughs> whatever else I will be watching for the next few weeks leading into you know November and December and then eventually January but until then I will see you guys all next time bye